I'm Anu Prakash. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. It has been a violent weekend in Detroit. According to police reports, at least eight people have been shot since Friday. The first report was Friday afternoon. The most recent one we're aware of occurred just before 5 Saturday morning. We're told most of the victims were in serious condition at local hospitals with two in critical condition. No arrests have been made so far in most of the cases. A scary situation for a 17 year old on Detroit's west side. Police say he was held up at gunpoint in his own home by a man posing as a DTE worker. The teen wasn't hurt, thankfully, but police say the man who was with the woman took off with some cash. DTE is reminding customers that legitimate employees carry a photo ID badge, which you can always ask to see. Now for a check of the forecast, let's send it over to 7 First Alert Meteorologist Hallie Vogel. A much quieter day, a cooler finish to the weekend. Our highs in the 60s today will drop down under a mostly clear sky into the low to mid 40s across Metro Detroit. So it is going to be a little cool waking up tomorrow and cooler overall too. Temperatures stay in the 60s tomorrow, back into the 70s on Tuesday. And we really don't have to look at our next storm chance until Wednesday. So it does hold off for several days. Hallie, thank you. Strong winds are being blamed after a massive tree was sent crashing into a home Saturday in Rochester. The good news, nobody was hurt. The people who live in the home were on the ground floor when this happened. The homeowner says he's lived on Ludlow near Woodward for more than 40 years, and he's never seen the wind blowing as hard as it was on Saturday. The Special Olympics Michigan State Summer Games are now in the record books. More than 3,000 children and adults took part in this year's games, marking the highest athlete turnout in 15 years. About 3,500 coaches, volunteers, and chaperones were also there cheering them on in Mount Pleasant. Our Anne Marie Laflame hosted opening and closing ceremonies. Those are your headlines. Make sure to visit our website, WXYZ.com, or our app for news anytime. Have a great Sunday.